Hi, this is Genetics Lecture 1 of 3. Watch this lecture as many times as you need in order to fully understand the vocabulary involved. Um, having a good understanding of these words will be a big help as we move forward. Let's get started. We're going to start with just some simple vocabulary terms. Um, genetics, the name of our unit, is the scientific study of heredity. And heredity refers to the passing of traits from parents to offspring. Your DNA and the genes contained within come from your parents. You get half from your mother, half from your father. For example, I have blue eyes, which I inherited from my mother. Maybe you have heard someone say you have your father's smile or your mother's hair. Uh, these physical characteristics, like eye color, are traits. Okay, moving on. A little more, more vocabulary here. Um, traits are characteristics that you show, like my blue eyes or maybe your brown eyes. These are our traits. Um, your genes control these traits. We may have different color eyes because we have different genes. My genes decide that I have blue eyes. Yours might decide that you have brown eyes. Um, genes are made of alleles. Each gene contains two alleles, one received from your mother and one received from your father. We represent these alleles in science with letters. Okay. Now, one really important factor that you're going to need to understand in this unit is the difference between a dominant and a recessive allele. Okay. Dominant alleles, um, dominant alleles are represented with capital letters. Recessive alleles are represented with lower case letters. Uh, a dominant allele will always show up in an organism when it is present. A recessive allele can be covered or masked by a dominant allele. Uh, for example, let's say, and here's our recessive alleles, again represented by lowercase letters. So let's say for just a second that brown eyes are dominant to blue eyes. We would represent the brown-eyed allele with a capital B, and we would represent the blue-eyed allele with a lower case B. So if you receive two dominant alleles, or two capital Bs, you will have brown eyes. Okay, that will be your trait. If you receive a capital B and a lower case B, meaning you have a brown-eyed allele and a blue-eyed allele, well, your eye color will still be brown. You will carry the blue-eyed trait, but it will not get to show through or it will not show up, it will not be expressed. Think of the dominant allele as a bully. He covers and he does not let the recessive allele express himself at all, okay? Now, the only way to express the blue-eyed trait would be to have two recessive alleles or both lowercase b's, okay? If the dominant allele is not present, just the two blue-eyed alleles, then you would have blue eyes. So let's look at a couple examples, and I think it'll kind of help help you out a little bit. So um, we're just going to take this example real quick and say that we have uh, a monster. And in monsters, um, they code for two different types of traits. We have a one-eyed trait and two eyes. So R is the dominant allele for a monster with one eye. And lowercase r is a recessive allele for a monster with two eyes. So our first monster has a dominant and a recessive allele. How many eyes will this monster have? Hopefully you said one eye. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now this one has two capital letters or two big R's. Um, so what is his only choice? What can he express? What trait will he express? Hopefully, again, you said one eye. So in our last example here, we have the two recessive alleles. So if we have two recessive alleles, how many eyes will our monster have? You guessed it, two eyes. Very good. Again, watch this as many times as you need until you understand the information, and we'll see you later.